Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Daily Smash for Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. I just ate Brazilian nuts. Oh. Um, they're you really didn't... good for your Hashimoto's. Oh, you didn't bring a tooth, did you? Are you hungry? I'm modeling my new outfit. I got a Kitson's in Los Angeles today. <clears throat> it's Kitson. What is it? Kitson. Kitson. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Kitson, I got it at Kitson. And I love them. They write the the, the, the coolest things about like how a, like like minded people think. It's a cool store. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're having a seventy percent off on some of the clothes. I got some really nice shorts that were like three hundred dollars shorts for whatever that is, eighty, ninety bucks. It's a lot, but they were severely discounted, which was awesome. They're three hundred dollars a pair. Uh oh, tomorrow, coming up tomorrow, right here on the Daily Smash, we are going to share Bobby's twice baked potato casserole yes right twice baked well i'm gonna make it um she already boiled the potatoes the secret is getting the potatoes semi-mushy you know what i mean not too a mush to like a mashed potato yeah but cooling them like and then dicing them so she diced them so we we put the the recipe on our, our rick and kelly show on patreon last week people were going you know going crazy for it and it is a great Thanksgiving gift uh, dish. So as a gift to our viewers, we're going to put it right here on YouTube this week. Uh, cheers to my love. Oh, thank you. Enjoy yourself some Ilya wine. Mm. I love this one. That's delicious. You can have it delivered right to your door like we did. This is the Moscatel Macabeo. Mm. I think that got a 91 yes. by, from wine enthusiasts. Um, they have a Roble Red that's terrific. Uh, their their rosé is, is wonderful. And you can get these for the holidays um, with a discount. First, if you buy two bottles, they're 20% off, 20% off with a discount code written Kelly 20 Or you can get three or more bottles of free shipping. And we would love for you to support this small business that supports our small business. Yes. So go to ilia.com. It's a trickle-down effect. <laughs> we just got back from L.A., the traffic wasn't bad at all. No, I we drove at good times. We left at the right time to go there, and we left at the right time to come back. I think it's a huge difference. So I haven't washed my hair today. Uh huh. I have to wash it every day, and everybody goes, "Don't wash it. You, it. Your body gets used to it. Just you know, let it go for like you know. Don't wash it every day, and your body will not produce. I'm sorry, but my <laughs> hair produces so much oil. It is. It looks clean. It's, it looks good. It, it does? I it doesn't think look, so. It feels like dirty. It's gross. Really? Yeah. I don't understand it. I don't know why my hair gets so greasy. How often? I have to wash it every day. You do wash it every day. I wash it every day. But, you know, I don't know how people, women that I know, my friends, they look like a turkey. Um, my, no. my girlfriends can go a week without washing their hair. It's the craziest thing. But your body produces uh, oils and stuff, right? That goes in the hair? That... Yeah, I'm oily. I'm particularly oily, though. Uh-huh. And maybe they're not, and that's why they can get away with it? I guess. I don't know. It's just the weirdest thing. I don't know. I I take a shower every day, and whenever I take a shower, I wash my hair. I can't imagine not washing my hair. Oh, there's some women that can go, like, weeks. That's crazy. It's kind of gross. What about the guy, when the guys or women have dreadlocks? They don't wash their hair, right? When they have dreadlocks? No, they wash their hair. It's just in dreads. It's gross. Oh. That's even more nasty, I think. Sorry for the dread people out there if you got offended. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how we went I down that offend, rabbit hole. I seem to offend everybody. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you have a knack for it. I do. I did want to, you know, we were on Jeff Lewis's uh, Sirius XM show, and um, we, we told the story of going out. In mm. West Hollywood Sunday night. I, I would like to retell that story again for people who didn't watch or listen to the radio show. Okay. Because um, Kelly and I both got hit on. And, uh, I mean, Kelly gets hit on all the time. No. we The lesbians thought that... I didn't get hit on. The lesbians thought that me and Carrie were a couple. Oh. I got hit on. So we go to... Um, what was the name of the first place? We went to the Abbey. The Abbey is a very famous gay bar in West Hollywood. And so we order drinks at the bar and we go in with Jeff Lewis and we go and sit down outside because it was too noisy inside. He didn't like how noisy it was. And then Carrie showed up as a sister-in-law. and I love her. 
I do too. And I offered to go get her a drink. So now I'm by myself. I walk into the bar, same bar inside. Went back to the same bartender because she was great. And as soon as I get to the bar and order the drink, this guy comes up to me and he goes, Hey, um, I'm sorry. Uh, this might be a little forward or rude or something. He goes, and you're probably married. I go, I am. He goes, my friend thinks you're cute. And so I looked over at his friend and I go, oh, that's cool. And I look over and I was expecting like, you know, I don't know what I was expecting, but this dude's like this. <laughs> look, look, he looked like, I said on the radio, he looked like he had just gotten out of prison and like he hadn't, had, he hadn't eaten for a month, you know, like he was just, he wasn't looking at me like in a loving way. You know what I often think about? You know what I often think about? What, honey? I, I mean, there are so many gay guys in the world, right? Uh-huh. And now they can be free and be happy and be couples and get married and everything? Yeah. But could you imagine what it must have been like, like, in the 50s to, like, have to get married to a woman and not even find her attractive? Yeah. Well, or like, 50s, 60s, 70s, even the 80s was like that. My buddy Shep. You know, he was an anchor at Fox. He, he didn't want to come out. He was scared. He was dating women, but he liked guys. And I I felt bad for the girls who didn't know. I apparently didn't know he was gay. And he was hiding it, even from them. Didn't he go out with Nicole Kidman? He did. He had a blind date with Nicole Kidman. That, well, I mean, it wasn't a blind date. And Rupert Murdoch uh, helped set it up because his wife at the time was best friends with her. Wendy oh. Dang, I think her name was. She was best friends with Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman had a crush on Shep. But he was married early on Shep for like a so year. Shep is so gross. He, 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 had, he had two long-term girlfriends I know of. And I don't know You if, were really close with Shep, right? Yeah, we were And buddies. you didn't know he was gay? I suspected he was gay. Uh-huh. I suspected. But I didn't know until he came out and then he started hitting on me. That's when I knew. Oh. So we had fun at the Abbey, but, it, but then we went to uh, High Top. High Top? High Top. Yeah. High and, Tops. Uh, and that's where... Uh, that's where Kelly and the the softball players started chatting. <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun. It was a fun night out. And uh and there was other guys who remembered who talked to you at that other bar were there and they bought us shots. It was a Jeff was saying they were hitting on me too, but I don't really think they were. That was so funny. Um I, I loved it. I had a great time. Yeah, me too. I had too good of a time because I was very hungover this morning. We just took well, a little, this will help. We just took a little nap. Cheers. I didn't really take one. Mm. My brother Eric goes, how could you drink this and try to take a nap? <laughs> yeah, because your your body is uh, is unusual. You do things backwards mm -hmm. and opposite. Um, oh, so Jeff posted this picture. He always takes a picture with his guests on the radio. And I just wanted to show this picture because it's like the worst pic ever of me. And I think the... I think the problem, the, the outfit's terrible. The outfit's bad. So they have the after show on Jeff Lewis has his own channel. Yeah. And they have Patrick and Paul on there. And Patrick and Paul were making fun of Rick's outfit. Yeah, we saw him at breakfast before we did the radio that show. That is a, quite a giddy up you have there. I mean, it's you bad. You have ostrich it's boots I have my ostrich with boots. rust pants. Yeah. With a beige... There's a reason why I never wear those pants. And one of them is they're not actually hemmed, so I have to tuck the pants leg up inside it. Why don't we just go get them hemmed for you? I need to but get some stuff hemmed. Do you, do you think the pants are the problem, or they're no, not? If I no, wore no, a different no. shirt. I, I think the di I like the pants. But that shirt is just, it makes me look fat. I just look old and fat in that picture. And I'm not fat. I mean, I'm not. You don't look old. You just look fat. But I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it really bothers me. You know... I'm not, I guess I am vain. I didn't think I was that vain. But when I see a bad picture of myself like that, I mean, I guess everybody's like that. I know you are. When you yeah. see a bad picture, you, you don't like it to be out there. Because that could be the only picture. They, people could use that picture when, to illustrate a story about us. And I, and I look terrible. Anyway, Asia Jones liked it. Yeah, she did. I see that. <laughs> um, I, I showed the kids and thing. Oh, we have the pool tournament tonight. At Blackie's, and we're gonna bring your mom. See what happens. Okay, we're gonna annoy you guys one more time. We're talking about Earring Gate, and Heather wait, wait, that's in the news. Oh yeah, you gotta save that. We're not there yet. Um, we, before we get to that, we have the spam alert. Uh, 
you got. I don't even know if it's spam. I don't even know what it is. Can you call that up for a second? It's someone on Instagram. Kylie Pratt, our Patreon. One of our patrons on the Rick and Kelly Show on Patreon.com. Longer, unfiltered, uncensored, and commercial free. You should join. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds have in the last few weeks. She's one of our VIP patrons, and she texted Kelly this this thing that she got on Instagram, right? DM? Yeah. And it's from Christine Kimberly Jones, 13. Christine Kimberly Jones is she her She follows Instagram. me. She follows me. Sorry for intrud uh, intruding your privacy. Sorry for intruding your privacy. My name is Christine, online manager and personal assistant to Kelly Dodd. First of all, you, personal if assistant, was, if yeah. she was my freaking assistant. She'd she be fired for writing that. She'd be that. fired, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're already fired. You haven't even gotten the job yet. We don't know this person, okay? She's not Kelly's personal assistant. Assistance, online manager and personal assistant to Kelly Dodd. She does not have any other account unless official account. So I was... And I don't know what it says. I don't know that. what it says after that either. And then Kylie says, do you know this person? I said, no. They sent it to me twice. Okay, I'll block and report. If you get an, a message from anyone claiming to be Kelly's personal assistant or assistant, it's not real. Okay? And we did report that person. Sorry for intruding your privacy. <laughs> intruding on your privacy. Right. Would be the right way to say it. Right. There are so many scam artists out there, and one of the, you know, and this is basic shit, I know, but they taught us at Fox, when, when you, because they would get a lot of spam mail there, always look at the spelling and the grammar and who it's from, check the address of the sender. Any inconsistencies or, or misspellings or mis grammatical errors, any of that stuff is a clear signal that it's not, it's not the person they say they are, mm -hmm. that it's, they're misrepresenting themselves. Just by those little minor Well, you mistakes. get those UPS ones on like, oh, you're getting a yeah. package delivered. Yeah. And we're not like, sure we have your correct or, whatever. Uh, your PayPal information on there. But, you know, you can tell those are scams. Yeah. And well, as soon as you, if you ever did respond to that, now you're opening the door for them to get personal information from you and then steal from you or worse. We also have this reel of the day. Okay. Now, remember that egg challenge that we did? Yeah. Now, people are going a little too far. Okay, I, people got really upset that I did the egg challenge with Jolie, and mm -hmm. I thought it was kind of... Who happens to be 17 years old, but we were laughing at the at the reel, which had little kids on there. Yeah, I know, but this takes it another level. So this is, uh, someone started this thing of throwing a cheese slice on a baby's head when they're crying, and here it is. <laughs> but the thing is I think babies are should not be doing that to babies I'm sorry I mean I'm all about a laugh and a joke and like startling them but they're babies yeah I do have to say it, it tells you a lot about how real the crying is. If something like a cheese slice on your face is going to make you completely stop crying, how bad could it have been that they were crying when it put a piece of cheese well, on their face? Well, they can't talk. My mom used to say it was like gas, hungry, poopy, peeing diaper. Did I say gas? You did. <laughs> yeah. Like it's Those just, are the reasons why they cry? Those are the cry? reasons why they cry. They're hungry. The, their diaper is soiled or they have gas. 
or they're you, overly tired. Do you think anyone's going to say that that's going to scar that child for life, that they had a cheese slice thrown No, but it's, it just goes to show you that they have screwed up parents. <laughs> but... But if, like, again, my point is, like, if they're that upset about something that they're crying, screaming their heads off, and you put a piece of cheese on their face and they stop crying, well, they're obviously, it's not that bad. They're not in pain. They had this um, reel of the day with this little kid. He must have been, like, four or five. And he told his teacher, comes up, and she's like, hi. And he goes, shut that F up. So it said the F word. Yeah. And the lady, like, like and then, and then he's like, shut up, B-I-T-C-H. And then she gets the kid, and like, it's shocking. Well, obviously they hear that from home, right? Right? Yeah. But one hundred percent, they're not afraid of authority. These little kids, like, what is going to? Ha- I I just often like wonder, America, what is going to happen? I'm, what is it going to be like in like fifty years? In terms of how children speak to. I just, just like how everything is, like the crime is out of control. Yeah, we were talking about that driving through downtown LA when you, you know, well, all these stores are closing. All these stores are closed. And there's, I said there's, the, ca- there's encampments, there's tents. Oh, it's so disgusting. Like in front of Urban Outfitters, Urban Outfitters right on tents, Melrose. Right on the sidewalk. If you're trying to go into the store, you have to walk around someone's tent. How do they allow that? If, if I, and if that was my store, there's no way I would allow that. There's something in here. But, um, I was said to Kelly, we were driving through and saw all these stores that were that were boarded up or closed. And I was like, "What? What's it going to be like in twenty years? Is there going to be? Will there be retail left? Is it going to be completely online? Are there going to be far fewer stores or the different kinds? Of, I don't know. You think you watch like Christmas Story and you watch like Christmas and how cute and innocent and nice yeah. people were and polite and kind and yeah. It's just gotten out of control. Like, I can't even go to a football game and say anything without somebody trying to, like, get in a fight with me. <laughs> it's, like in the, it's like the craziest thing. Speaking of Christmas, uh, I know you remember the Halloween decorations we had up there. We are in the process of doing our Christmas decorations. So by the end of the week, that's all going to be lit up and beautiful. Is it not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got to put lights outside. I'm glad we moved out of that house if just for the reason that I don't have to climb all over the roof to, to assemble, put those lights up and then take them back down again. Yeah. That was that was hard work. So, if you guys can say a prayer, um, we had a second showing on the house in the Hamptons. Oh, yeah. Pray to St. Joseph's. I know I have. I have a vision board right there. Um, we buried that. But if we don't sell Saint. it, then we'll... we'll, we'll we're going to take it off the market after this. Yeah. If it doesn't sell, we're going to take it off the market. We'll rent it again next summer, and we're going to we're gonna remodel it. That's what I want to do. Well, that's what we're going to do. Watch. We're going to sell it. <laughs> as soon as I want to remodel something and like make it really cool and chic and neat, well, it sells. That's my luck. Either way, we win, okay? Because if we remodel it, we can sell it for more. And if we don't remodel it and we sell it, then we sell it, and we can buy something here. So either way, we win. Okay. In the news now? In the news. Breaking news. Do the breaking news music. The Rick and Kelly show has learned that Krista has returned the $3,000 for the lost earrings. $3,000. And so I've been trying to call Heather. Oh, hello, oh, Bobby. Come over here, Mom. Weigh in on this. Show us come your here. beautiful come Beverly here. Hills sweatshirt. Come here. Hey. Come over oh, here. Oh, real quick. What's up, Eric? What's up? Come over, sir. How you come doing? here and talk to it. Come, come over here, here and say hi. Tired? The ladies love you, Eric. Eric, the ladies you. love you. They want to see your handsome they face. Love the and I love the ladies. You love the ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Just there, saying. He, there he is. Yeah, I'm single now. So. Are oh. you? Again? Well, I've been single for about... What happened to your date on Saturday night? Shonona. It was a date. It was a date. It was a date. Oh, but that Shonona? Mean- Shona. My, 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 Shona? Shona. <laughs> my school wrote him. She was cool. I liked her. Yeah, she was cool. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, how, we're talking. We're not. It's nothing serious. How was your shopping trip? Well, it was I didn't fantastic. shop. We just so oh, okay. Wait, Mom. so weigh in on the uh, Krista returning the three grand that Heather McDonald gave her for the earrings. What do you? What think about that? What did you that? think about that? She had a lot to say about this. My mom. I don't know what I say. I told you her. said that that Krista, sh- if if they were, if she believed that they were real, that they were real. She would have never have returned back those earrings because she, I guess she had to, um, she had a, you want some? 
uh, I guess she had to um, get off her Instagram. I guess she was getting harassed. She was getting harassed by the people of Heather McDonald's. So I tried calling Bobby, Heather McDonald. I, I tried I, I, calling Heather McDonald last night in a day to confirm that he the Krista returned paid. and paid. For, for, and you're waiting to hear back. And she has not. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's ghosting Kelly now. She's ghosting me now. <laughs> but Bobby, you didn't tell us. What well, did I'm you? I'm I'm what I'm do you think? Do I you think that Krista knew that they were fake. And because if they were real, Krista she promises never, me. Cr she would have never returned those earrings to her. She would have said she would have stayed on her thing and said, "Hey, look at. I don't know what happened." I know what I paid. She would have showed the receipt. Totally believe Heather. Okay, let me just tell you something. And I have close to a million dollars in jewelry. I'm not over-exaggerating or lying. That's true. I do. And watches and Van Cleef and all that. I, don't, I have yeah. it in a safe. Yeah. Um, but I can tell you, I have the $3,000 earrings. Um and I, if I were to lend them to somebody, I would say these are very, these are real. These are very expensive earrings. I would let them know. Up front. Up front. Absolutely. That's the whole thing. She should have said, look at these were worth $3,000. Be careful with these earrings. Yes. Anybody Those look like the that. earrings. Yeah. Those aren't are fake. the earrings. No. I, 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 I have everything in, in, in the bank. I don't leave anything here. There, there, there's too many break-ins. Yeah. You know, see Dory and but Kyle. But if you were to lend out very expensive jewelry, which I don't think you would. But if no, you did, I wouldn't. But you let everybody know beforehand. Hey, right. Get, these are expensive and just be careful with them. But yeah. Jeff is completely thinks that, that, they're, uh, <laughs> that, that they, they were real. My mom goes, there's That's no actually a very good idea. Eric says, have them sign a contract. Yeah, have them sign a waiver. <laughs> when they, when they borrow way. them. Yeah. So yeah, these are worth three it's, it's a value plus 10% if you lose them. But, so damaged. do you think yeah. that, do you think that, that she um, uh, shouldn't gave, if, if they were real, she shouldn't have given the $3,000 back? Or do you think she did the right thing? No, she did. No, she admitted it. Krista, by giving them back. By yes. Huh. Krista swears by no. No, that's that's not right. I don't well, believe it. Well, so but here's the thing. To your point, by returning the three grand, she's basically telling the world that they weren't real. Exactly. And she's admitting that she point. was wrong. Even if they were real, by giving the money back, you're you're basically saying, yeah, they weren't real. Well, why would you give the money back if they were real? Because Jeff said that that the earrings. Were um, because that people were harassing her. Yeah, but that I wouldn't people do. People were harassing her. If, if and then I, Eric goes, "I don't care what people say on on, on Instagram." I go, "Obviously, I don't care. I I, <laughs> I, I had all, a million followers, and now I have like seven fifty five. But if you, but they came after me during that whole COVID stuff. They people were harassing me. If you legit time. paid that much money for earrings and someone lost them. And then they paid you back for the lost earrings. I don't care how many people accuse me of whatever. I would yeah. come up with the proof. And if I couldn't find the proof, I still wouldn't give the money back. Because if, if I paid three grand for earrings and you, I lent that's them to you and point. you lost them. That's my point. I don't care what people say. You, right. you lost my $3,000 earrings. I'm keeping that money. Yeah. But, but, but returning it sounds like guilt of admission. Yeah, it omission. does sound like Absolutely. an admission of guilt. It does. Yeah. All right, well, uh, there you have it. We'd like to know what you think about that, and we will wait, share some of your comments on the next oh, Daily Smash. About what? About I know her? you. Oh, no, about her? Yeah. Yeah, just say, you know, I know you, and you know you, and I know that you know that I know you. <laughs> huh? This is what Eric's good at. Come in again? <laughs> hey, touch it, McFly. Hello, <laughs> McFly. <laughs> ADD girl. Hey. All right. We have I a, have sorry. ODD. We, we have it's a... Just uh, odd. Just odd. Oh, a finite deficiency? We have a Zoom order? call to attend to and then a pool tournament to win. So we hope you guys have a smash-tastic <laughs> day. Peace out. Have a happy... Happy peace. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. If we don't see everybody. you. But we will be back here tomorrow. With Bobby's potatoes. Wait, Mom, Ooh. how long did you boil those potatoes for? 45 minutes. Peace. And and then you let them cool, and then you diced them? Go. Yes. You out? Where are you yeah, going? I'm going to a dinner. With who? Oh. Uh, Rick's making pasta. Oh. Why don't you guys get married? 
spend every day together. He's making pasta? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Him and his wife? Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> a little complicated, perhaps? What do they call that? A throuple. It's a little complex. They, they call that a throuple. <laughs> a throuple. <laughs> it's not a couple, it's a throuple. A, a throuple. A throuple or a throuple? It's called a menage a trois. That too. Are we going to go watch you play pool? Yeah, we are. Yeah. We're going right. to go to Blackie's By now. By the way, this guy right here is amazing at pool. I don't think anybody can beat this oh, guy. Oh, thanks. Champ. I, I, Dude, I, yeah. this, this lady, this girl's in there, have their own pool, like cue stick, like he does. He brings it, like, mm -hmm. you know, like your own bowling ball. It's yeah. like such a dorky it, it, he thing. He has his own bowling ball with a rose in it. <laughs> I don't have a bowling ball. I meant to tell that story on Jeff Lewis. I got to see. My mom used to have a My mom used to be on the bowling league. I got to see. Yeah, she's, she's good. good. She's good. I, oh, she, yeah? She can kick my ass. Back in the day? Yeah. What was your she average? What was your she average? She had her own bowling ball. 210. 210? I don't yeah. know what that means. Oh, my God. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. So I, I was going to tell the story on Jeff Lewis. I took bowling in junior college. It was one of the electives they had. They had a bowling alley at the school. They had that at ASU, too. And, and the very first class, you roll for average. And I played. I rolled the best game I've ever bowled in my life. I, I think I bowled like a 190-something. Mm -hmm. And I'd never come close to that before. And I never came close to it again. So the rest of the, of the semester, my average steadily went down. And the way they grade you is you're supposed to improve on your score. If I'd known that, I would have tanked that first game that we were bowling for average. But my, my average went down, 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 and I aced every test, but I missed like three classes, and I got a C in bowling. It was my only C. Well, C's get to Greece. <laughs> okay, how much do you guys think this um, fake snow is? I probably could have gotten 10 times. There's barely any Did in it. Did you get it. that from a drug dealer? A crate and barrel. How much was that? I don't know. Oh. Eric said they were six bucks. Here's your, here's your money. Back. I think we got, oh, thank you. Oh, she keeps giving me this $50 back. I'm trying to get rid of it. For oh, her. yeah. 5-0, baby. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace out. We'll see you tomorrow.